With this question, we're going to be doing multiple parts. So we've got one question over there, and then we've got a second question, and then a third question. Okay, let's get started. It says that the population of South Africa during the mid-year of 2020 was estimated at 59.62 million people. The graph below represents the population per province. Okay, so the Northern Cape, there were 1.29 million people. Uh, Pumalanga, 4.68 million people. So remember, those numbers are in millions. So the first question says, state the type of graph used to display this information. So whenever you've got these uh, bars and there is a gap in between them, then that is a bar graph. So we'll say bar graph. This question for four marks says, determine the population of Gauteng. Well now think about this. So we know that there's 59.62 million people in South Africa at that time. Uh, this is for Northern Cape, Mpumalanga, Eastern Cape, Free State, Limpopo, Northwest, Western Cape, KwaZulu-Natal. So if we add all of those numbers together, um, then we can subtract it from this number to see how much is left over for the for the for Gauteng. So let's quickly go add up um, 1,29 plus 4,68 plus 6,9 3. Um, sorry, this is going to go on different lines. 5,85 plus 4,11 plus 7,01 plus 11,53. If we go add all of this together. That'll give us 44.13 million, okay? So then you can just say 59.62, and you take away that 44.13, and that'll give you 15.49 million. And then they say, and write your final answer in words. So okay, so that's actually fifty. So if so that's actually fifteen million four hundred and ninety thousand. So you would say fifteen million. Whoa, fifteen, fifteen million, and then four hundred. Whoopsie, <laughs> four hundred. And why am I doing that? Ninety thousand. This question says, calculate the interquartile range for the provincial populations. Um, so you may use the formula Q3 minus Q1. Now this is five marks. The reason is, remember, when you are doing median, court, interquartile range, all of those things, the numbers have to be, this is important, the numbers have to be written from smallest to largest. So that's going to be step one. Now remember Gauteng is the largest actually. It's like 15, we said 15.49 million, okay? So we need to start with smallest to largest. So smallest would be uh, North Northern Cape. So that's going to be 1.29, okay? Then the next smallest would be Free State, 2.93. Um, who's next? Uh, Northwest, 4.11. Who's next? Mpumalanga, 4.68. Next, Limpopo. Uh, next, Eastern Cape, which is 6.73. Next is Western Cape, which is 7.01. And then, okay, let me try to get these numbers next to each other. Just give me a second. Okay, so I moved the numbers down there because I was definitely going to run out of space. Uh, then it's Kuzilu Natal of with 11.53, and then uh, Gauteng, which was 15.49. So now we want to find uh, Q3. Okay, so Q3 is, to find Q3, um, it's the middle of the upper half, if that makes sense. So let me show you a nice way to do this. So let's find the middle first. So if you had to look carefully, this would be the middle value. Okay, so that's the middle value. Let's put a block around that. So to find Q3, you need to look at these numbers and find the middle number. Now, what is the middle number when there's four numbers? Well, you can't really find a middle number. Uh, but would you agree with me that it's in between these two? Okay, so it's in between those two, right? So you could then say you could find the middle, to find the middle of any two numbers or the halfway point, you just add the two numbers together 
and then you divide those two numbers by two. Or you divide that number by two, sorry. So, and so that is 9.27. To find Q1, it is the middle of the lower half. So here's the lower half. So what is the middle? So what is the middle of these four numbers? Well, it would be somewhere between these two. So you're just going to add those two numbers together. But then divide that by two. And that'll be 3.52. And so now we can use our formula, which is Q3 minus Q1. And that's going to be 9.27, take away 3.52. And that'll be 5.25. And then remember that that's actually in million, so we can say million.